Hello, my name is David Mullo. Um, I'm going to be going over my assignment six, which is the final presentation of the internship course. Um, I have my PowerPoint slides on a separate display to my right. So when I look over there, I'm kind of going over the, the slides. Um, hopefully you'll follow along with me with the slides that I sent in. Um, it's really hard to get this under five minutes, between three and five minutes, because there's just so much to talk about, but I'm going to I want to try to talk fast. So let me just start with uh, the first pay, the first slide. Um, you can see a beautiful picture that we actually took on the first day of training at Northwestern. Um, the building is in the Raymond James building right on Riverside Avenue. Um, and the building is right on the St. John's. So that, that uh, body of water behind me is the St. John's River. Uh, beautiful location. I'm, I'm really grateful that uh, I got the opportunity not, not just because of the location, obviously, but because of the other great benefits that came from it. So uh, I was a financial representative uh, intern with Northwestern Mutual. We started the internship process a while ago. We started maybe September of 2020. So it's been a long time coming. Uh, and we started that training January 4th. And the internship concluded last week, last Friday, April 16th. So within that time, a lot has happened. I've grown a lot. I've learned a lot. And uh, I'd like to share that with you. So let me go on uh, and do a brief summary of Northwestern Mutual. Just some some facts that um, are as of 2018. So I doing a little further research. Some of these have changed. They're not confirmed yet, but uh, they're looking a lot better, which is, I mean, they're already great, but the numbers have increased since 2018. So I want to start first by talking about, you know, the main point of what Northwestern Mutual does, and that's helping families and helping uh, businesses to achieve their financial security. And they Northwestern has been doing this for almost two centuries, over 160 years. So they're close to that two century mark. Um, and what they do is involving financial planning uh, as a comprehensive unit. So it's not just buying products and services, but it's starting with budgeting all the way through retirement, like it, it's everything. So uh, they are one of the world's most admired life insurance companies. They, and they have about 5 million uh, policyholders, which is crazy. Um, and pretty much, I think as of now, uh, as of 2018, it was 270 billion in assets. As of now, it's about 300 billion. So they've been slowly increasing over the years. And uh, especially in these difficult financial times, they've still been growing. <clears throat> so they are the largest provider of life insurance in the United States. And um, not only do the clients uh, rave about the benefits of being a Northwestern Mutual client, but Northwestern also does a lot of work for the community with volunteering. And they've donated over $320 million of uh, charity and, and that was of 2018, so I, I highly expect that to be much higher now. And um, there's just a few more facts about uh, the specifics on what organizations Northwestern deals with for charity. Um, so I'm going to move on to the second slide, um, talking about the benefits of a Northwestern internship. I actually used these graphics when I was first interviewing uh, for Northwestern and talking about what comes from and what attracts people to the uh, Northwestern internship. So you can see there's a lot of facts on this um, slide, but I ge just generally want to talk about the um, the internship and how it is a top 10 internship in the United States. And it's been that way for about 20 years. So, and, and that's all internships, you know, all industries, not only financial services. I think as a financial services internship, it's probably number one, if not top three. So, um, I'd love for you to go in depth and look at those facts because it is very interesting and it's what attracted me to the internship, but I'm going to continue, um, on to what I did, my role and what I accomplished with the internship. Um, unfortunately I didn't meet the end game goal of getting five clients, which, um, I'm not super sad about, um, because of what I learned and, and the skills that I gained, but Unfortunately, I wasn't able to accomplish that, but I was able to keep up with activity each week. So 
I, you know, the productivity uh, was there, the activity was there, but I just wasn't able to uh, make a lot of the closes that I should have. But you live and you learn. So um, basically what I did was each week we were not required, but had a goal of dialing 30 people per week and uh, attempting to set meetings with them to do fact finders and eventually uh, potentially make them a client. So that's the gist of what I did as an intern. Um, but it was so much more than that. It was training, it was development, it was role playing, just a lot of things. And I gained experience and knowledge from each one of those things. So just a few main takeaways and, uh, what I learned about myself. Um, I'm going to go into that, that third slide. Um, like I said, I gained knowledge a wide range of knowledge, uh, ranging from behavioral decision making all the way to advanced financial planning. Um, and although I did appreciate the opportunity greatly, I, I want to thank everyone there, the leadership team at Northwestern. Um, I found that the career path just isn't for me. I think that a career in financial services would be possible, but I don't think as a financial representative. Um, and one piece of advice that I learned that, I, that I'll keep with me for a long time, and this was uh, the managing partner, Jeff Salazar, mentioned this several times throughout the internship, and that is, um, if you're comfortable, you're not growing. So I definitely was uncomfortable at some time during the internship, but I guarantee that I learned. I, I know that I learned a lot. So, um, and one piece of advice that I did learn that I, that I will keep with me and continue to, uh, provide to others is that you should start your financial planning now in order to reach your financial goals and solidify your financial security. So that's one thing that I'll continue to, uh, give evidence, give, uh, advice to others that I, I received during the internship because it's important. And, uh, as a young professional, I think it's ex especially important because I have the opportunity to have connections with my young peers and start their financial planning early. So that was just a basic overview of the internship and some of my thoughts on it. Um, if I had more time, I, <laughs> I could go on for a long time, but I think I'll conclude there. Thank you.